mucho. Good evening, everyone. I'm Melissa Swan. Thanks for joining us here at 10 o'clock. Dove Crawford has the night off. If you haven't already mailed your taxes, you've got a little less than two hours to get them signed, sealed, and delivered. With Kentucky and a post offices closed, your options for getting them to the IRS on time are limited. But we know of at least one way to get your taxes there on time. WHAS 11's Adriana Hopkins is live in our newsroom with a look at that option. Adriana? Well, Melissa, that's exactly right. Time's a wasting. Your only option now is to file online. Now, you can file an extension, but you still have to pay today. Most people went through the motions, paid on time, but others put up a fight. By car or by foot, several hundred people headed to the same place this evening, to the post office, and that ever-growing line. As one person left, another person came. I freaked out. I didn't want to be in this line this long. But he and everyone else snaking their way through the line inside and up to the window, they are those last-minute filers. You know, get busy, get tied up. You know, just everything goes so fast before you know it, the 15th is here. Well, I got some appointments I got to be at, so I'm hoping it moves fast. And apparently it did. Charlotte Miller called her last-minute tax filing experience wonderful. wonderful. And you have two kids yes, who seem very patient. They were, yes, they didn't mind at all. We might do this all the time. Uh, <laughs> no, wait just, till kidding. The last <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> once you get in there, it's not that, not that, once you're actually in the building, it don't take that long. It took me about 10 minutes. <laughs> But not everyone raved about tax day. Locally and across the nation, from San Antonio, Texas to Salem, Oregon. We can't have that debt. We just can't have it. People party, tea party. This is my first protest ever, but it may not be my last. Protesting April 15th, President Obama, taxes, collectively saying we've been taxed enough already. They're patriots. And I'm proud to be here. Now, if you have any questions or issues, go to our website, whas11.com. We've linked you up to irs.gov. All the answers are there. But again, today is the day you've got about two hours left. Reporting live from the newsroom, Adriana Hopkins, WHAS 11 News. I know that April 15th is not exactly everyone's favorite date on the calendar. President Obama promoted his tax cuts today, part of the stimulus bill he signed in February. He says this tax cut will reach 120 million families and put $120 billion in their pockets. The Obama administration has chosen the first six companies for a $50 billion program designed to help homeowners avoid foreclosure. Chase Home Finance could get $3.6 billion. That's the largest amount. The others so far are Wells Fargo, GMAC, City Mortgage, Select Portfolio Servicing, and Saxon Mortgage. More companies will be named in the coming months. Unemployment taxes for Indiana businesses could increase if the state cannot repay federal loans it needs for unemployment claims. So far, the state of Indiana has borrowed $665 million. Indiana has until November 2010 to pay back the loans. If not, the state may raise business unemployment taxes by nearly 40%. All right, we have cloudy skies, 48 degrees right now in Louisville, and temperatures are going to be pretty cool here tonight and tomorrow morning. We'll start your day off with mostly cloudy skies for that Thursday morning commute. Temperatures in the morning in the mid-40s, warming up with, yes, the sunshine returning by midday tomorrow, 58 degrees for your noon time. Uh, by 5 o'clock, sunny skies for that drive home, 65 degrees. And by 8 o'clock, temperatures dropping down into the lower 60s. If you like that, check out the seven-day forecast. We'll have that coming up in just a minute. And we'll uh, show you some temperatures climbing up into the 70s. Melissa. Thank you, Monty. The Louisville teenager accused of crashing a stolen car and killing his four teenage passengers is facing four murder charges tonight. 16-year-old Herbert Lee was indicted today as an adult, charged with murder, fleeing police, reckless driving, receiving stolen property, and driving without a license. Brothers Jamar, Damar, and Mark Claybrooks and their friend Aaron Shields died in the crash after leaving a Youth Alive event last December. This Sunday would have been Aaron Shields' 16th birthday. He has a twin brother who was not involved in the crash. I, I, I suspect, and uh, it should 
definitely be a reality for him that there's no way that you can replace that energy even when you're trying to celebrate your 16th birthday. So it's not going to be an easy weekend for him, but the family hopes to accommodate for him a nice weekend for his birthday and his brother's birthday coming up on Sunday. Last the family say the boys did not know Herbert Lee before they got into the car with him. They say between the criminal investigation and Youth Alive's own investigation, they hope to get a better understanding of why the boys got into that car. After nearly three years, the two men involved in the shooting of a two-year-old girl and her mother have both been sentenced now. James Quisenberry was given a total of 45 years in prison for his role in the shooting that killed Aaron Harper and wounded her daughter, Erica Hughes leaving her blind in one eye. We respect the verdict of the jury, um, and they were clearly able to see that he was not the shooter in this case and, and held him responsible for what they felt his role was. Quisenberry's accomplice, Kenneth Williams, was convicted of murder. However, he was spared the death penalty and got life in prison without the possibility of parole. They were wanting to abuse the children. They were wanting to knock them out. Um, they were wanting to use scissors, knives, rope. Eight men are now facing serious charges after police detectives bust them in an online investigation. More on the warning they're sending out to parents tonight. And the U of L women are honored in Louisville after a great season, very well played. We'll show you how the city recognized their rise to the NCAA final game. Thursday, we're going to focus on Shelby County. Heine Brothers Coffee will be here along with talk show host Barbara Bryant and Cindy Tandy with Metro Live Magazine at 10. Start here for the morning's top stories. Start here for the latest up-to-the-minute first alert storm team forecast. And stay here for GMK's 11 to go. It's all the news, weather, and traffic you need in the last 10 minutes right before Good Morning America. It is not every day that a superhero entrusts me with her phone number. The stiletto, she gave you all these quotes. Call me stiletto. Are you stiletto Lois? Smallville. Announcing a giant breakthrough for HD. It's the exciting new Insight Digital 4.0. Insight Digital 4.0 delivers 59 HD channels, most for free. Unlike AT&T and Satellite, we don't charge customers an extra $10 HD programming fee. If you have a channel and we have it in HD, you get it free. And packages start at less than $30 a month. 59 of the best HD channels, most for free. That's Insight Digital 4.0. Call 1-877-4-INSIGHT today. No pain, that's your gain with Advanced Care Center. No pain, that's your gain. Hemorrhoids have got to go. No pain, that's your gain. We should have done it years ago. No pain, that's your gain with Advanced Care Center. The savings are incredible during the 29-hour sale at Value City Furniture. Right now, enjoy decorator sofas from just $2.99. Save over half. Queen all-wood beds from only $1.99. Save over half. And your choice of these great Parsons chairs, just $39 each. Save over half on a huge assortment of in-stock living rooms, bedrooms, dining rooms, and more. Plus, get the guaranteed lowest prices with no payments or interest for 12 months. Don't miss the big 29-hour sale now at Value City Furniture, your factory direct superstore. Somebody. If you want to know why Toyota is the number one car company in America, just ask someone who's driving one. Like this versatile new 09 Highlander. Now with $750 cash back. Get $1,000 back on the family size Sienna. Or get 1.9 financing up to 60 months. Or $4,000 back on any new 08 Sequoia. Ask someone you know who drives one. Police call it Operation Bulldog, a week-long sting operation. The end result? Eight people behind bars. All face charges of trying to solicit children online. Those indictments could be just the beginning. WHAS 11's Melanie Kahn checked out the operation that delves into the dangers of the Internet. Fetishes, foot fetishes, little kids, um, bisexuals, um, wife swapping, all that kind of stuff. This is how Detective Dan Jackman and Detective Michael Atterburn spend their days pretending to be young children chatting with adults online. 
Some are innocent conversations, but others are anything but that. During the chats and our communications, then, you know, plans were made to meet us somewhere for sex. When the suspects showed up, the police were ready. At the end of the week, Operation Bulldog caught eight people, all with clean police records. It's typical husband, um, got children, sits in the pew Sunday right next to you, would never know him from, you know, Chester the molester. Well, some people would think that the guys that normally wear the trench coats and the big brim hats, these guys are your normal, everyday, got a strong job, everything else going on. In fact, one of the suspects, Austin Smith, was working as a youth counselor at the Bellwood Orphanage. There was absolutely no indication in any of his checks that he would do anything, that he was inclined to do anything illegal or inappropriate with a child. Sometimes detectives say those are the most dangerous offenders. In this group of eight suspects, police say more than half wanted more than to just have sex with a child. They were wanting to abuse the children, they were wanting to knock them out, um, they were wanting to use scissors and knives, rope, um, hold chemicals up to their nose to make them unconscious. I mean, they were, we were working on some very sick people here. Well, they made four arrests prior to the week. So today, police held a press conference to raise awareness of the dangers lurking online and show WHAS just how easy it is for a child to become a victim. Just a few seconds after Detective Jackman signed online as a 14-year-old girl, there were dozens of people asking to chat, and even one man exposed himself with his webcam. It may sound shocking, but these two detectives aren't the least bit surprised. According to a Google Trend study, Louisville is rated as the most obscene city in the country. At Louisville, although we're nice and, and low-key, but online, we're completely different, night and day. Melanie Kahn, WHAS 11 News. And the detectives are warning parents there are predators out there, so always be aware of what your children are doing online and on their cell phones. A thunder over Louisville is this coming Saturday, and WHAS 11 is your official thunder station. Coming up, we'll take a look at how to make the most of a trip downtown. And they're off. We affectionately call this the most exciting two seconds in sports. It's all next. Two seconds, huh? Hey, we have cloudy skies and temperatures are in the upper 40s right now. We do have a warming trend heading our way. And what about the forecast for thunder? You keep it right here. We have all the details coming up right after this. Whether you're looking for something sassy, classy, or sophisticated, you'll find your style at Invogue Designs. Come visit our Middletown location. New Derby hats arrive daily. Invogue Designs, where good taste is affordable. Waiting too long for your insurance agent? With agents in every county of Kentucky, Farm Bureau is always there when you need us. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. In Louisville, there is a unique group of physicians, each one committed to excellence. They are University of Louisville physicians, 450 dedicated doctors, working together to care for patients from prenatal days to senior years at hospitals across the region. Professors teaching a new generation of physicians. A team whose leading edge knowledge helps patients throughout Kentucky and Southern Indiana. University of Louisville Physicians, the heart of UofL Healthcare. Creating the knowledge to heal. Check out the incredible room package event at Ashley Furniture Home Store. Get great deals on bedroom and living room groups. Up to 25% off our everyday low Ashley direct prices. This 14-piece bedroom is only $9.99. Look at everything you can get for just one low price. This living room package is an incredible deal. Get all 14 pieces for just $9.99. Choose a featured group or come into our stores and put together a package that suits your home. Ashley Furniture Home Store. You're gonna love this place. Did you know that Louisville's own Four Seasons Sunrooms recently won two national awards for their quality work? That's right. That means that now you can work with an award-winning designer to build a beautiful custom-designed addition to your home that lets the sun shine in all year round. Visit MySunroom.com and get your free copy of The Essential Guide to Sunrooms and set up a free in-home estimate. Build the best with Four Seasons. I'm attorney Carl Truman. 
Be sure to watch WBKI-TV for the CW Legal Line every Tuesday morning on the CW Louisville Live this morning. In Vogue Designs is your one-stop derby boutique. For stylish derby hats by Nigel Raymond, come to In Vogue Designs. In Vogue Designs, where good taste is affordable. WHAS 11 News on the CW Louisville is brought to you in part by Ford. Drive one. Coast Air Children's Hospital is $390,000 closer to completing an $18 million expansion of the neonatal intensive care unit. Louisville Congressman John Yarmouth got the money through a bill signed by President Barack Obama earlier this month. The money will help support the hospital's five-phase renovation plan, which will increase the ward's capacity to 97 beds. I'm proud of this appropriation, not just because it's going to a very worthy project, but because I am so confident in the people who are going to be the stewards of these funds. The hospital wants to raise $208 million to make changes in several areas of the hospital. Cosair Children's Hospital is Kentucky's only full-service, freestanding children's hospital. And for the first time this year, you'll be able to get across the Second Street Bridge, even as crews set up for Thunder Over Louisville. A free shuttle will run back and forth starting tomorrow morning when the bridge closes. The van will carry pedestrians and cyclists across the river until 11 a.m. Saturday. That will allow crews to prepare for the fireworks show without anyone getting near the explosives. But it's something two bicycling groups have been trying for years. We're thrilled, actually. And, you know, we're, we're a little bit cautious because anytime you try something for the first time, things could go wrong. And we're going to observe, see how it works out, and, uh, and then tweak the system so that it works better next year. Still, that free shuttle did not come about easily. It took the threat of a lawsuit involving the U.S. Constitution. We'll have that part of the story coming up tonight on 11 at 11. And that call to the post for the most exciting two minutes in sports is about two weeks away. But today, we got a preview of the most exciting two seconds in sports. And that would be Ratalina Jolie and Hannah Ratana. Eight rodents took to the track in the 37th annual running of the rodents at Spalding University. There were six races today, including the Spalding Derby. And the winning rat always gets a garland of Fruit Loops. Now, storm debris is supposed to be cleared away by Derby, but it is coming down to the wire. When the debris will be gone for good is just one issue we'll be bringing up with Mayor Abramson in our Ask the Mayor segment tomorrow. It's our new monthly segment called Ask the Mayor. It begins tomorrow at noon. And if you want to submit your questions, you can go to whas11.com. Money. And Melissa, here's the forecast for Thunder this Saturday. You know, we have been having some concerns that we might see a couple of showers around, especially towards the late afternoon or evening. Right now, it's looking more like it's going to be dry. There's still a slight chance, about a 20% chance or less, that we could see some evening showers. But I do believe now the best chance of showers will be after 11 o'clock. So that's after the fireworks. Okay, so get out there, enjoy the show. Air show starts uh, in the afternoon between 2.30 and 3 o'clock. Afternoon temperatures in the low to the mid-70s. And during the fireworks, you'll see those temperatures only cool off into the mid-60s under partly cloudy skies. So a very good looking Saturday shaping up. All right, outside right now, cloudy skies here around Kentuckyana. Our current temperature out at the airport, 48 degrees. Winds are blowing from the north at seven miles an hour. It's kind of raw out there. I mean, temperatures today only climbed up to 50 degrees. That is a good 16 degrees below average for this time of the year and nowhere near that good looking record high of 86 at back in 2006. Temperatures been holding steady all afternoon and evening long. They're in the mid to the upper 40s all across the region. Corda now at 49 degrees. E-Town at 44 in LaGrange. Good evening, 46 for you folks. Satellite shows just those low clouds that were stubborn, did not want to leave. And here's what's going on. That area of low pressure is still spinning around to the east of us. And we're getting a lot of wraparound moisture. And all of those low clouds just kind of stuck in the Ohio River Valley. And 
We've got to put up with them tonight through tomorrow morning, but by mid-morning tomorrow, we're going to be saying goodbye to the clouds into that area of low pressure. High pressure is going to be uh, building in, so that's going to nudge that jet stream to the north of us, and we'll be on that warm, that southerly side of the jet stream, so look for a warming trend by tomorrow with temperatures in the 60s, and by Friday and Saturday, those highs climbing into the 70s. Sounds, sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Tonight, cloudy skies, overnight lows in the low 40s to the mid 40s across the area. Tomorrow we'll wake up to some clouds early and then the sun will start working their way through the cloud cover and by tomorrow afternoon we should end up with mostly sunny skies and highs in the mid 60s up around the Scottsburg area, 65 degrees in Louisville and 67 degrees down south in the Greensburg area and Frankfurt tomorrow looking for a daytime high of about 64. All right, let's wrap it up. Take a look at your seven day forecast. Mid 60s for Thursday, sunny skies and daytime highs in the low to the mid 70s for Friday for thunder on Saturday we'll say sunny skies in the morning then a few afternoon clouds will be coming partly sunny by Saturday afternoon and evening daytime high Saturday 72 so we'll take that overnight low Saturday of about 52 degrees and then moving into Sunday an increasing chance of showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms Saturday night through Sunday Sunday's high about 67 degrees and then we cool off as we we move into Monday and Tuesday with highs in the upper 50s to near 60. We clear out and back into the mid 60s by Wednesday of next week. So maybe a little bit of rain for the ride home, huh? Yeah, it looks like the best chance for rain after 11 o'clock. So mm -hmm. that's when everyone's walking back to their car. <laughs> so you sitting in their car, sitting, waiting in their car. Yeah. yeah, just sitting in the car <laughs> for like an hour or two. But it's worth it. It's a great show. And, and at least you'll be back in your car when the rain starts. Okay, we hope that would work out nicely. It Thank would. you. Well, the Kentucky basketball team held a practice this afternoon. Coming out, find out which UK recruit has signed on the dotted line and which current player will be testing the NBA waters. Danielle Santoro is next in sports. The WHAS 11 First Alert Storm Team in partnership with the Kentucky Lottery. WHAS 11 News on the CW Louisville is brought to you by Overhead Door Company of Louisville. It's been two weeks since John Calipari took over as the Kentucky Wildcats head coach. And today, as the team gains one forward, it may be losing another. Highly touted power forward DeMarcus Cousins has signed his letter of intent to play for Coach Calipari at UK. Also today, sophomore standout Patrick Patterson has announced he will be testing the NBA waters. Patterson and Jody Meeks both have until June 15th to decide if they will stay at Kentucky or if they will leave early for the NBA. Just testing it. I've been a higher agent or anything like that, so uh, right now I'm just focused on uh, working hard and staying in shape. Uh, I really don't know, you know what I'm going to do, um, so I'm just going to you know, continue to talk to Coach Cal, keep him informed of my decision, and um, you know, get all the information I can from him. I hope I get a chance to coach him. I think they've improved themselves in their position, but they got to do what's right for them, them and their families. Hopefully they come back. I've been trying to sway them to come back, so hopefully it's working. <laughs> Again, both Meeks and Patterson have not signed, so they could still return to UK next year. Here's a look at one player who will definitely be donning a Kentucky jersey next fall. That's DeMarcus Cousins, the 6'9 power forward, averaged 26 points, 12 rebounds as a high school senior. As you can see, he played in the McDonald's All-American game this year. Cousins joins John Hood and Daniel Orton as members of UK's 2009 recruiting class. In the Kentucky Derby, General Quarters will be ridden by Julianne Leperu. Last weekend, General Quarters won the Bluegrass Stakes at Keeneland with jockey A. Barcoa. But when the Colts owner and trainer Tom McCarthy did not receive a commitment from Coa for the first Saturday in May, well, he decided to go with the Churchill Downs experienced Leperu. The Bats looking to avoid a sweep in Game 2 of the three-game series versus the Toledo Mulhens. Let's hit the scoreboard. Toledo took the early lead. The Bats rallied back, putting up two runs in the eighth, one run in the bottom of the ninth. But the Mudheads went on to win 4-3 the final. Louisville women's basketball team has a lot to be proud of this year. The Cards finished the season 34-5 with a run to the national title game. Earlier tonight at 4th Street Live, hundreds of fans gathered for a celebration. I want to thank you all for all your support in the year because we could have gotten this far without you guys. And I just want to say continue this, this team because they're going to be great.
Angel McCautry went on to say that this is not the end, it is just the beginning. She said to expect big things from Jeff Walsh and company. McCautry was drafted with the top overall pick by the Atlanta Dream, and Candace Bingham was taken by the San Antonio Silver Stars. Now, spring would not be the same without a little spring football. The Cards held their final spring practice today as the team gets ready for the annual red-white spring game. Kickoff is this Friday night, 7.30 p.m. at Papa John's Cardinal Stadium. And you'll be there? Kyle will be out there, too. All right. Full team coverage. The whole team out there for the game. And the whole team, of course, Saturday for That's Thunder. That's right. We'll be here all day long. I am so excited. I love air shows, fireworks, oh, displays. This is a great one. It, it really is. It's like the largest in the country. Yeah, yeah it is. Better. We The weather's shaping up to be pretty good. Here's a look at that forecast. Tomorrow, 65. Afternoon sunshine. Mid-70s on Friday. Saturday for thunder. A daytime high of 72 degrees. And right now, we're pushing the showers back until after 11 o'clock Saturday night. So, thunder should be A-OK. -okay. That's great. And I always remind everyone, you're close to the water, down by the waterfront. It will be a little chillier. So, take some extra clothing. You can get rid of it, put it back on. <laughs> Layers. That's yeah. the Keep Good for enjoying idea. Thunder. We'll see you at 11 on WHAS 11. We just remodeled our home and we wanted a garage door that would fit in with our new look. So